today we right. got we got a lot to go over this new video we we've got we've got content and we, we're gonna stretch it over to the 10 minute mark this time hey babe Welcome to my humble abode. I film Fodum in here, the life of night. And on every Saturday, we record the Joe Rogan podcast. <clears throat> hey, gang squad, it's your boy. Keep up the hustle. You'll earn it one day, you'll make all your money back. Ciao. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, Renzo, should I unsubscribe? Yes. So today we're doing something a little weird. We're doing a room tour. I haven't done a room tour video in quite a long time and I figured I haven't really done one of the new house so I figured I might as well take a swing for documentation's sake. Uh, so we'll be looking at my room and also the basement area, which is what we usually look at. But uh, I kind of have a connected room basement situation going on. So yeah, we'll start with the room. Hmm, crunchy yet satisfying. So this is the room, it's pretty tiny, uh, but I'm used to having small room. It's just the perfect amount of space for me. I'm, you know, I'm not a very, I don't take up very much room. There definitely needs to be some work in the future, definitely need to reorganize and I want to add shelves and stuff like that, I want to start putting more action figures and stuff up here, but for the time being it's a pretty standard small room. And I don't spend all my time in here, I spend more of my time out in the other room, but we'll get there soon. I guess we want to start on this side of the room? I don't know, just work our way around like we are. Right. We'll start here. Uh, bed, very standard stuff. I mean, it's bed, you sleep on beds. Baby's been raised in a bed, baby will always sleep in bed. Baby likes his bed. Baby does not move away from his bed ever. Uh, there's a little uh, storage thing there, nothing really important in there. It's just some old drawings and like pencils and stuff. It's nothing interesting. Uh, three posters, big three. Uh, Breaking Bad, <laughs> Endgame, and a Spider-Verse poster. Don't really like this uh, Breaking Bad poster. I mean, it's all right. All the characters kind of look a uh, little, uh, little dead-eyed on there. I don't know. It's just, it's just not an ideal Breaking Bad poster, but I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. It's just whatever. Uh, I really like the bright uh, glare that is on that. Um, and yes, they're all a little off-centered, so don't try being like, why don't you, why don't you uh, use a level or something? I like this Endgame poster. I love Endgame, but uh, <laughs> this doesn't have... I don't know why. There's a variant without Tony Stark's head on there. I just think that's really weird. It's that has the Iron Man helmet for whatever reason. I have no idea why. And a Spider-Verse poster, because I like Spider-Verse. I mean, I feel like most people do, but I mean, it's not the best movie in the world. I just really like it. And I, this isn't even my favorite poster. It was the only time, only one I could find at the time. And I mean, I like it. It's fine. It, it, we got some freaking crap here. The second... I keep wanting to say ottoman, it's not an ottoman, it's a little nightstand, uh, and I'll go through it, what's in there in a second. We got a couple boxes, and you'll see the reason why there's just random boxes shoved there is because most of my boxes are in here. And uh, Renzo, I thought you threw out all your boxes. Nope, I kept all of them like an asshole. Uh, got a couple things, uh, specifically this is a silver centurion uh, in box, I haven't removed it because I already have a silver centurion, and this one's going straight to thatch. Uh, nice Dan just threw my headphones there like a lazy asshole. Uh, and then in here we got a couple of neat little goodies here. We got some, all the expensive stuff is just kind of thrown in here really lazily. And we have a couple books. Yeah, a lot of y'all. Y'all, a lot of y'all. They recognize this, it's Bionicle Encyclopedia. I used to love this book. I never read it as a kid. I just looked at pictures, but not really a big Bionicle guy or anything anymore. But I mean, it's still cool and I'll still keep it. It's really old and like ripping apart, but that's okay. Uh, there's the Super Mario Adventures, which is, uh, I believe they were comics done for Nintendo Power in the 90s. They were really fun, like Japanese Mario comics. They're really goofy, really silly, and these are all in color. I saw them at the bookstore and I. 
I used to love them, so I figured I'd just pick up the whole collection. I believe this is all of them, if I'm not mistaken. And then the coolest thing here is not an art book, but is the Crash Bandicoot Files, which is just a whole big, uh, crazy Crash Bandicoot, like, I believe it's a reproduction of the original, uh, developer's bible for the first crash game there's concept art in here there's like level names and stuff it's really cool if you're a fan of stuff like this i really want a spyro version of this i don't know if that exists oh what's in door number two it's shit apparently uh we got three of the bionicle g2 uh graphic novels first one's all right it's got a pretty bland ending second one's pretty dang good and then the third one is like it's awesome um, from what I remember, they might not hold up too well, but I just remember really liking the third one when reading it. Uh, Ryder Winham did a good job with these, so yeah. Scott Pilgrim, not a huge Scott Pilgrim guy anymore. I used to love it. I got this when I was way young to hardcover colored version of the first issue, I believe. Pretty, uh, It's pretty dated, but uh, I don't know, it's cool. And then there's a weird, cringy Death Note book in there. I never read it. I actually still kind of like Death Note. Uh, I don't really like anime, but I do like Death Note, and... Uh, Never ever read this book, I could never understand it because I was not very good at reading, but it's a pretty neat little book. I think it's a prequel book. I just never read it because I couldn't understand it because I was really dumb. I believe I got it back in 2014 or something. Uh, that is my original Driver's Ed book and still don't know how to drive. <laughs> and this thing has seen, this thing's been through the ringer. I used to look through this thing all the time and I used to try to figure out, like I tried to pass the test, constantly failed. Uh, and yeah, well, <laughs> I just, I still have it. And then at the very bottom is the Bionicle graphic novel. I don't have the second one. I, uh, never got it. I was never lucky enough to find it in stores. I probably couldn't find it anymore if I, even if I tried. But yeah, I, I like these. They're, they're pretty all right. They introduce some stuff I kind of like, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> then a couple of drawing books, and then there's some, like, comics down there. I actually had a comic series called Paper Man, and it had a spin-off series called Paper Boy. It was a bunch of comics, and I lost them, and I'm so sad. Maybe one day I will find them, and then I will absolutely do a video about that because I freaking love that series. But it's gone now, and I feel so bad. But that's the end of that. So, um, yeah. You guys ready to see what's behind my crazy closet? Ooh, it's not that exciting. Uh, for one thing, it has, the, this is a horrible closet because it has two water heaters in it, so half the closet space, in fact more of the closet space is just occupied by two water uh, heaters, which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, I kind of got the brunt of the fact, you'll see later, I also have a uh, freaking, <laughs> just a, a fuse box just <laughs> in there, so yeah, not the best closet, but whatever. Whole bunch of crap, so yeah, I kept most of my boxes, actually I've just started doing that recently, I guess it's for reviews, but I don't know why I don't really care about looking at boxes and reviews. Whole bunch of stuff, I'll go over it all. Um, but specifically down here, there's like cardboard boxes just thrown everywhere. It's really haphazard and lazy. Yeah, I'm gonna change it eventually. I'm gonna go through, I will eventually be throwing out most of these boxes. I'm just keeping them for the time being. Uh, this is just full of drawing books and stuff. Maybe paper man's in here, I don't know though. Hats and stuff. You'll see a bunch of random stuff like there's the retro Spidey box. Uh, there's a couple of Spidey boxes there. There's some of my Persona Figmas there. Not really something to be proud of. The Venom Wave stuff is right here. I have most of the wave except I need Venom and Morbius, and then there is a Persona, what's it called, a Nendroid. Uh, I don't really like those figures, but I bought the Morgana one because, I mean, he looks fine. Uh, and then I hang a couple shirts in here, whatever, don't matter. Up here we got most of, like, what the hell's going on here. Fun fact, uh, for those who don't know, I'm pretty big into collecting Marvel Legends right now, I'll get onto that a little bit later. Um, but uh, Taskmaster was the first, uh, the movie Taskmaster was the first figure I bought this year, and now Every other figure has been accompanied uh, and has all been bought in this year, which is insane to me. But yeah, there's a couple things in here I like, you know, I start some of the NECA boxes in here. Uh, there are a couple LEGO boxes in here, which is kind of weird because I know, right? I hate LEGO. Uh, there's the Overwatch Bastion set, there's the, what is it, Hidden Side, JB's Lab set, there's the Kai uh, Gamer Mech or whatever the frick, and then Han Solo. Because that was the last figure I ever bought, and I just, I haven't thrown away that box yet because it's nostalgic. There's a big time Spidey box there. And, uh, right here is a, uh, this is a bunch of Olympic medals that my grandfather gave for me. I didn't, I didn't really have a place to put them. And originally they were on my war, clothes wardrobe, but I just kind of shoved it in here because, I don't know, it's cool. But, yeah, that's about it. Just kind of a mess. I really want to clean it out, but there's so, there's such limited spaces, there's not much I can really do with it. 
This is my sick ass belt, and I'm sure you guys know what I do with this thing. We're talking about a little bit of, you know, this is where I keep the clothes and also I tripod because I'm lazy and I couldn't have put it away. I was just like, I'll just leave it out. There's this Optimus painting. Uh, it's really old. I did it like back in high school, I want to say, like a couple years into high school. And it's not very good. It's pretty bad. But I mean, I just kept it around because why not? I haven't had the heart to get rid of it yet. And I also don't have the heart to hang it up. I just leave it like dangling across the wall there. Some high school stuff. I don't really have much attachment to graduation at all. I, I didn't really care. I was like, whatever, I graduated. But I kept the cap because, I mean, this is something that you keep. And I kept the, uh, you guys want to see something cool? Ooh. I look like Vincent D'Onofrio's weird cousin. <laughs> I don't like that. And then this is an old school photo. And there's me. And uh, here's the aforementioned uh, fuse box. Gotta love it. And three of the kings, we got Gizmo, oh my god, Goblino, I almost forgot his name, and Tooth. I love all three of these guys. Goblino just doesn't really go with mocks because he's not a mock, he's just Goblino. And Tooth and Gizmo are, of course, mascots of the channels, so love them. They're gonna stay there forever. They're gonna watch me in my sleep, as good sons should. Love you, boys. Uh, JB's Ghost Lab, uh, just a little set. I was never a huge fan of it, uh, but I bought it because I wanted to support Hidden Side. Uh, and unfortunately, I think Inside kind of took a nosedive. I think they really prioritized using the phone app for the functions and stuff, and I really didn't like it. I think they should have focused on making good play sets, and they didn't really do that. They they kind of split their budget, and yeah, now I'm, I think the theme's canceled now, which sucks, but it was inevitable. So I'm sad it's canceled. I'm sad it's gone, of course, but I don't know. I just I feel like it was inevitable. And then Emmett's Dream House, which is a fantastic little set. I really really like this set. It's probably one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. Excuse me, Rex. It's just down in the corner. Lego Movie 2 is, is such a fantastic movie. I want to get a poster of Lego Movie 2 and put it in my room really badly because it was such a great movie. These are the NECA figures I'm actually like proud of. These are the figures that haven't broken on me. I have a lot of old NECA figures that aren't on display because they're joints I'll give out, but I really like these figures. A lot of them are all newer. In fact, they got, I got most of these this year. Yeah, I believe I got most of these in this year. We got Stripe there. Love that figure. That's fantastic. Obviously, if you watch my Spyro review, you know I like Spyro. Crash is the oldest figure I have here, and he's still good. I actually ordered a new Crash, so that should be uh, interesting. The uh, prototype suit Xenomorph, I really want to get the big chap ultimate figure really badly. Two Godzillas and the Rhino Alien, that's a new purchase, and I really like that figure. And it uh, may or may not be my next toy review, we'll see. Not much left over there, there's a window where I can stalk my neighbors. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty boring basic room. That door leads to, well, it's a locked, and <laughs> it would lead to a laundry room that's my grandfather's, so don't go in there. It's locked anyway, so I don't. Anyways, yeah, pretty boring standard room, but gets the job done. I sleep in here. Again, baby likes his bed. So, yeah, let's move on to more exciting things. Woo! I do want to mention real quick that there's this scary staircase to a door up there. My old basement did not have a door to the basement. I am so thankful that this one has a door, especially since we got a little bastard kitty who likes to chew cords. It's very helpful and it is very awesome. It really helps for filming. Anyways, here is the basement area. It's much smaller than the old basement, but I've honestly, I've come to appreciate it over time for what it's worth. It's a nice, very, very cozy little place that I really enjoy. So which way do you want to start? This way or this way? Uh, I guess this is the easiest way to start. And then we'll come around. Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, so this is my mock table. You guys have seen this a million times. It hasn't changed. In fact, nothing's really changed about this, especially since I don't really mock as much as I do. But I figured might as well cover it. Everything is about the same. Still keep all my heads and masks in there. Uh, bones, you know, etc. Everything else is still on display. There's not much really here that's different. I will say that I did use, uh, started painting a lot more this year. Uh, there's a gold how. That looks really cool. There is the Renzo photo that he kept. This is his ship set. I know it's lazy. No, I'll never get over how lazy it is, but it's so convenient for me that I don't really mind it. Uh, there's a freaking uh, demon up there that watches me when I uh, build little creatures, so helpful. There's Beck's plant, a little biorama gun that was used at Home Invasion. Just some stuff, you know, just stuff that I throw there. Uh, there's Kasai's mural thing that he painted for me. It's just always been up here. Just leave it up there. Uh, the little guy. <laughs> and then all, you know, all the parts. Hasn't really changed. You know, everything is about the same as it was before. 
Uh, it gets the job done. There are more parts over here in the corner. This is most of my G1 parts and like feet and stuff. They all just go in here. There's a random Walmart bag. I don't even know why that's there. And then underneath here is this is usually usually this is where Renzo's you know this is where freaking Jiro's house is. Uh, I just don't really have it set up right now because I have so much crap that I have in the basement that I just put stuff under here. Whole crate of system stuff there and another big thing of system stuff. And then in here are mostly mocks, uh, whether they be Renzo ships or just little... There are a lot of weapons and like mini ships for Renzo as well as a bunch of Biorama mocks. But a lot of the Biorama characters go in here because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. Uh, but I'm looking to give them a shelf eventually because I feel like they should be on display and not just shoved away in a little box. So I have a crap ton of freaking uh, uh, clear totes when this is something that I think people are going to find interesting. Uh, not too long ago I busted out a lot of these guys, these little Hero Factory little guys. I wanted to put them in Biorama, I always have, so who knows. Maybe you'll see them in Night Trap or something, we'll see, I have no idea, but I just made a whole bunch of them and there's a bunch of those jumper creatures in there, so yeah, a lot of fun stuff there, but you know, all my base plates and stuff, whatever. You, you've all seen this before. Hey look, it's me! Hello! Hello! Uh, this is my Murder on the Owl Express poster, I waited like five weeks for this thing, and when I got it I was so happy. Uh, it's from the game Hat in Time. Love Hat in Time. Uh, you may have seen, I have a shirt of Hat in Time. It's really great. It's not even necessarily like a really good poster. It was just a poster from the game that they had on the website. So I was like, I have to get this thing. It's beautifully framed. I love it. Here's my really bad couch that I don't like. It's just uncomfy. And I used to be able to sleep on my old couch like all the time. Like I could, it was like a second bed to me. This is not very comfy and does not hold up very well. So I, I'd like to get a new couch. But not top of my priorities right now, honestly. And there's a Gremlins poster just kind of randomly shoved there. I love Gremlins, obviously. Thing can barely fit the damn frame, but I mean, I just really wanted to hang that Gremlins poster because, I mean, it's a pretty fantastic poster. The MacBook and all that, you know, the standard stuff. And what's in this little tote that's just kind of shoved in the corner of the room? Well, it's mostly not interesting. <laughs> it's mostly just old toys that are uh, just old and I don't really feel the need to display a lot of them or they can't display because that queen alien is a fantastic figure but I don't have a stand for her so she just kind of awkwardly sits in there and I feel horrible I really do need to get some sort of backup stand but I can't find any stand that would like hold her up without just getting a whole brand new figure and that's that's a horrible idea honestly but a whole bunch of crap in there there's actually a hero factory savage planet box in there which is crazy it's chewed to hell and there's no lid or anything but man it's just so cool to see yeah, yeah, just a bunch of freaking crappy toys that I just shoved in. A lot of old stuff in here. The beautiful door that leads to the outside world, and it's freaking beautiful. It's actually kind of chilly, and it's pretty dark out, but hey, there's my backyard in case you ever wanted to see it. It's pretty simple, but hey, it's kind of neat. Anyways, we got a whole bunch of stuff here, and I'm not going to have time to cover it all. There's just way too much to talk about, um, but this is where I keep most of my other, like, mock parts in case I want it. They're really specific stuff. This is just a box full of like Ninjago minifigures and stuff like that. If you're ever, if you're wondering why uh, this dragon and also the other dragons up there have the uh, pink pipe cleaner on them, watch uh, Byrama Girl Trouble. That should clear some things up. Uh, just a lot of things. I've had this creator shark just with these mech legs around for so long. I don't know what to do with it. I just really wanted to give it mech legs, and now it has mech legs, and I just don't know what to do with it. There's Bethany. Bethany can't fit up there with the other dragons anymore, so I just put Bethany down here. I have no place for her. Uh, she's just really big and cumbersome, and she just gets in the way, so I don't want to take her apart. I really like that set, but I'm just... And I haven't even bothered taking the pipe cleaner off because I want to use them again in the future, but we'll see. There's a whole bunch of other stuff and also the rocket from Rocket Royale. And by the way, that thing lights up. I didn't even know that. This is just a mess. There's a whole bunch of posters and stuff. Just like stuff that I've kept over time is just all wrapped up in bags and stuff. And like props for videos. So we got light bulbs, we got knives, we got rocks, we got tape. We got so much crap in there. I don't even know. And then there is the overflowing box of instructions. That has like every LEGO instruction that I've bought in recent years. It's insane. I really do need to re-go, like I really do need to go through it and like properly sort it. Because my god, it just looks terrible in there. And like, like I said, you can't even close the damn thing up anymore. You used to be able to, but now you can't. So I really do need to just pull it out and go through it again because Jesus. These are just lazily thrown in like action figure accessories and stuff. Just kind of toss to the side. I don't really know where else to put them. So I just leave have them down here for a little bit. I will have to put them in a tote or something because 
by the way, you see uh, the Venom Pool build a figure there, and I just don't have one of his arms that comes with Morbius, but he's almost complete. And then I can put him on the shelf, because right now he just looks weird. He's just hanging out there, and it looks wrong. Um, but here is my big, one of my big two shelves. This shelf is kind of just a miscellaneous shelf. We got mostly, I believe it's mostly Diamond Select figures, as well as there's some Transformers and some Star Trek stuff. Um, but yes, this most of these figures were bought for uh, Biorama. You can probably already figure it out. This Spidey, by the way, is really good. The one thing that's lacking is, our, is his articulation. Other than that, he's really great, though. Uh, just his body and his head need some work, but other than that, he's great, and he comes with tons of accessories. I literally, so most of these figures I bought because I needed random figures, so that's why I even considered buying these Kingdom Hearts figures. They are terrible, by the way. Um, that Rocketeer is actually really good. Uh, the Transformers figures are a bit of a mixed bag. I prefer, I really like that Optimus. And I bought that Star Trek figure just randomly, but it's a really goofy lizard man, so... Moving up, we have the movie Marvel Legends shelf. This is specifically just movie characters or like Stan Lee and stuff. And I figured it was just kind of best to keep the movie Marvel Legends and comic uh, Marvel Legends from blending in because it was just going to take up too much space. Originally, these guys were actually in my room, but I moved them all out because I was like, well, they just they just look better out here. So I got a lot of I got a lot of movie figures. I actually started with collecting the movie figures until I realized, hey, the comic figures are cool, and I'll get into that later. But yeah, no, uh, I started with that Iron Man there, that's my very first figure. I have nostalgia for him, but he's not great. And then the Taskmaster right behind him was my second figure. Then it just kind of spiraled out from there, and I got quite a few. My most recent was the Wanda and Vision, you can see him kind of tucked away in the back there. And they're alright, yeah, I'm not I'm not as big as a movie Marvel Legend fan as I used to be, but um, they're still alright, there's some good figures, there's definitely some downers too, like that cap is not very good and definitely I, I found that rescue and I was so happy anyways and then we have the uh, this is the monkey kid mech set it's on display I'm not as big as a fan of the set as I would have liked to be I mean it's fantastic don't get me wrong it's got an amazing build it's so fun and it's so cool and the, this sheer scale of this thing is titanic it's just not as fun to mess around with as I would have liked it. It's just too cumbersome to like move around and mess around with. So yeah, still a great set though. And above that we have just a bunch of random Lego sets. This is specifically Bastion, the Lloyd Titan mech, and then the Oni, the giant Oni guy. And then the little Power Miners mech thing. I love that set so much. I like most of these sets, I really do. Bastion's pretty damn good actually. I'd totally recommend getting him if you haven't already. And finally, we just got a bunch of random Ninjago stuff. There aren't any minifigures because I took them all out, but I really like that set in the back. And uh, it's got a couple of other little dojo sets, and this is all from the uh, the big Bone Dragon set, and then the little Wu Dragon, which I also bought, because I will always buy the dragons from each Ninjago wave, even if I don't buy Lego on a regular basis. I like buying the dragons. The dragons are always usually pretty damn good, so I'm going to continue buying the dragons. And I already went over it, but these are the last three dragons. We've got Susie and Catherine, I believe her name is, both voiced by Tokir Minakoto and Thatch Mac. They did great. And then this new bone dragon, which is uh, such an awesome looking set. One thing I'd have to say that I hate is that the upper arms can't really move at all, which really sucks, but other than that, it's a great, great set, and my god, it's just, it's really big and scary looking. Okay, and coming all the way down here, we have a little bit of a cool gamer setup. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> this is my weird gamer setup. I'm very happy with my current collection of games, especially my PS4 collection. It's starting to really take shape, as well as the Switch games. I got a lot of Switch games. Um, I am planning on making an individual video on the gaming channel about the, all my game collection in the near future. I don't know when I've been wanting to make it for a really long time, but I'm not going to go through all the games here, because that would just drive everyone mad and it would make this video an hour long. What is the deal with this TV? Well, my my idea when I set the TV up was if my brother can play games on the TV and I can play on a little TV or vice versa, you know, we can both play games at the same time. It's just not ideal. Mainly I was thinking that because we have a Switch and a PS4, so I was thinking that was going to be the scenario. It's just not ideal. It means I would have to like pull up a chair and awkwardly sit near. It's just not a great scenario. So I'll probably end up putting this TV away in storage or something. It's just not the best. And that way I can stuff stuff on this uh, bigger shelf. In fact, I may put the NECA figures on the bigger shelf, or maybe even Biorama guys, who knows. Got a couple of Weeby Persona figures here. Uh, I like the Persona Figmas. They're cheap, but they, they get the job done, and I really like them. And I don't mean cheap as in price. Absolutely not. They are 
very expensive but I have another one eventually coming hopefully sometime this month we'll see I know most people don't care and I'm gonna get a lot of bad comments but whatever and then I bought that an Android Mor Morgana figure and the only reason why I bought him is because he looks pretty accurate I mean he isn't like they aren't sheepifying him or anything he looks pretty much exactly the way he should be and he comes with a lot of accessories there's literally a bag just with all this accessories down there. He comes with so much shit, so yeah, he's pretty alright. There's the stand for that Morgana, and uh, there's a little Steve and a plant back there. This is mostly, that's my Switch carrying case, and that is my 3DS DS carrying case, as well as a little Spyro 2 strategy guide. I've talked about it before, I really like that strategy guide. Um, but this is where I just kind of shove all that. It's too small of a shelf to really put anything in there, so I just kind of <laughs> shove it all, it, all this stuff in there. Like I said, here's my PS4 collection. Incredibly happy with it. I have way too many games. In fact, I've bought a lot of games I don't really need, like Sonic Forces or like Rayman Legends. Those aren't games that I needed because I already had them on the Switch. But whatever, it's nice to own them and. Man, Royal still sticks out, I'm sad. It has a completely different colored blue thing, so it just looks wrong in the entire collection. And those uh, greatest hits, or whatever you call the freaking PlayStation hits, the being red is really annoying, but whatever. I, I've kind of grown used to that. There's a little Crash NECA box right there. All the Switch games, DS and 3DS stuff just kind of stacked on top of each other. Below that, we got the PS2 games, and there's a couple PSP games. There's literally like one PSP game right there. Uh, Xbox 360 games. And then I believe we have one GameCube game, which is Super Mario Strikers. I don't have a GameCube, I don't even have a Wii, I don't know why I own this game. It's just one of my oldest games and I've kept on to it all this year, all these years. Uh, this is the uh, Mega Bloks Master Chief buildable figure. I bought this to kind of quench my, my urge for Star Wars buildable figures, you know, for CCBS being dead. Weird ass build, man, I'm telling you, that, that was not fun to build whatsoever, but I mean, he's pretty cool, he's not amazing or anything, but he, he's very neat looking, and from the torso, like, he's got a pretty good build overall, and I'm not even a huge Halo guy, I just, I like him. Um, like I said, all the Morgana accessories and all the Figma accessories are right there, because I don't really want to put them in a bag with the other accessories, because they're very cheap and I'm worried about them breaking, and then a bunch of PlayStation uh, 1 games over there. This is the entertainment center, and it is just a crap show, so I'm going to try to run through it as, as fast as possible. I'm not going to be talking about all those DVDs down there, God forbid, um, but I will just cover everything that needs to, uh, needs to be covered. That TV is horrible. It is way too small. I'm not sure. It's a bigger TV, but it is horrible. It's like a super old TV. I need to get an upgrade desperately, and I'm hoping to get one for Christmas, but probably not. Uh, ooh, I wonder why there is a teddy bear there. And uh, there's my photo that I took with Cam. We both got Western uh, photos, which was really fun. And that is my Marvel Legends comic collection. I say comic, but not, not half of them aren't really from comics. Half of them are just from other designs. And I'm very, very proud with this. Uh, so. I'll just say, I started off as a Marvel Legends strictly like a movie collector and then I kind of opened up to getting that Venom and I'll just say, uh, these designs are great, most of them are, and like, I don't know, like, they're such great figures that I, a lot of these designs I just didn't take seriously or really didn't like them. They have grown on me a lot, like I didn't care for the Hulk, I didn't care for the look of characters like Electro or even Green Goblin, but I have I have opened up to them so much and I have really accepted them. I got most of the Venom wave right there, I still need Morbius and obviously Movie Venom, which I'll probably put Movie Venom in the movie shelf, I just figure like he might fit there a little bit better, but who knows, I'll probably keep him. Anyways, very very happy with that collection, very, not, I mean, I'm, I like collecting these figures so I'm going to keep collecting them. The Switch is just kind of lazily placed up there because I don't really have a place to put it outside of just plopping it on here because it's such a portable console, you just pop it up and take it like, I don't know, I usually take it and I play it before bed or something. Down that we got the Xbox 360, it's actually not plugged in anything, it's, it's just kind of sitting there, very docile for the time being, it's just I wanted to have all the consoles displayed like this. And there's the PS1, and behind there, oh god, it's the gamer's worst nightmare. You probably can't tell, it's just got a bunch of cords and stuff shoved in horribly in there. So, yeah, but that is my PS1. Love that damn thing. I'm gonna keep that until I die. It's freaking awesome. And then up here, we got, that is just the cable box, and then we got my PS2. My PS2 actually doesn't really work anymore. Uh, at least not with PS2 games. It plays PS1 games just fine, but it will not play PS2 games. Which makes me very sad, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, hopefully I can get a new one sometime in the future, but it's going to be sad to let that thing go. And down here we got the PS4, and if you're wondering what the hell that thing on the top of it is, it is a 
external hard drive. I do want to get, when I get the PS5, I think I'll put it up here somewhere. I don't know. It's going to be a pretty damn big console. I don't even know if it's going to fit in the range of that, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's where the PS4 sits. And then down here we got a weird collection. I don't really know. It's very mixed. We got my Spyro and Crash uh, Funko Pops. I really don't like Funko Pops, but we're never ever going to get like a Ripto toy. So I just bought it when I saw him because I was like, yeah, I want a Ripto toy. And uh, the Crash was the first Funko Pop I ever bought. I was like, wow, I do not like this. And then we got a whole bunch of movies. So we got a whole bunch of Blu-rays back there. All, most of the Lego movies, I don't have the Lego Movie 2 on Blu-ray. I just need to buy it. I believe Rogue One and Force Awakens are there. We got Deadpool. These are movies that we used to buy because my brother would always go to the store and just buy a bunch of Blu-rays for no reason. We got the Iron Man trilogy there. We got some PS freaking, uh, what are they called? Like, we got some PSP video movies. You could buy movies for the PSP and it was so weird. Then we got a couple movies here. We got Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming Collection right down there. We actually just watched Far From Home pretty recently. It's a damn good movie. I really like it. Sons of Anarchy. I've never seen it. This is more my dad's. And then Thomas and Prince and Misty Island Rescue. That's my brother's. Indiana Jones 4. Like this is the most of those are movies that we got when we were uh, younger. Uh, back when we had a Blu-ray player, we don't even have a Blu-ray player anymore. We just have the PS4. That's the only thing that can play the Blu-rays. Then we got uh, Endgame. I really wanted Endgame on Blu-ray. Desperately wanted it. Uh, Back to the Future Trilogy, another great trilogy that we needed to just have uh, in the flesh because those are great movies. And then we have the bottom DVDs, and I proudly display them. I put them up a couple times. It's just such a weird novelty to have them, and I wanted to keep them up here. I didn't want to just shove them back somewhere, so... Yeah, those are just so weird to even own those, but yeah. So without going into specifics, because it's just a bunch of like, I've just started getting into like doing a little bit more like, uh, what's it called, customization stuff. So we got a whole bunch of acrylic paint, we got like pipe cleaners, we got like textured fabric, we got like spider webs that were in Scarewolf, which I hung out in the freaking woods, a bunch of Play-Doh, just stuff like this, paint and paintbrushes. Uh, this is all pretty recent stuff. I haven't really been into that too often in the past. I mean, I you, I wanted to be, but I never could. Um, so it's definitely more of a recent thing. But they're just kind of shoved in there for now. Uh, and then this is just a miscellaneous shelf. It's got, actually, it has the uh, Stan Lee Marvel Legends box. I don't know why that's in here, but it's just a very nice looking box. And then this is the poster thing from the Godzilla figure I own. It's cool, I just don't really know what to do with it. And a bunch of Dragon Balls I got when I was like 14 years old. And that is a journal for Biorama. It actually has a lot of cool stuff in there, and that is where it's supposed to be. This is a Kimu 2016's little office area. That's why there's a pen and stuff in here. So it's going to continue to be that. I just have some stuff put in there for now, but when I film Biorama, that's going to change. I should have mentioned, uh, for anyone who's wondering, where the frick do you keep your drawing tablet? Uh, it's actually just tucked away in here. Uh, that was probably a horrible way to open it. There's a bunch of controllers and stuff in here too, so it's not a very great place to keep it, but I just don't know where else to put it, so I just put it in here for now. That's where all my tech goes. So yeah, in case you were wondering, there it is. I don't know why you'd be wondering, but just in case you were. This is a, just a poster frame with no poster in there. I just don't have a poster to put in there yet, but I'm sure I'll get something for right here because there's nothing there. Uh, but yes, no, there's a poster frame here and just a whole bunch of backgrounds and stuff I've been using for Rocket Royale and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of green screens and just colored screens that I've been using for mock videos. By the way, there's a new one in the works uh, that will be coming out hopefully soon. Just a whole bunch of colored ones that I like using. Specifically, there's ones for green screens and stuff. Fun fact, this is one of the oldest pieces of furniture that we own. I've had this before I was even born, so this thing has been around for years. It's got its battle scars, it's got freaking whatever the hell that means in there. And it's got like, fun fact for you bio nerds, it's got freaking uh, uh, Ferno, not Ferno, Stormer XL stickers on there. So that's really weird. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of mocks in here. I don't want to get super specific, there may be spoilers, but there's just a little look at a bunch of mocks. You can pause and be like, ooh, Lorenzo, new characters. But yeah, I, I don't think there's anything really major in here. There's just a couple. Uh, this is where most mocks go in here just as a way. It's very easy convenient storage Well bag with more Rocket Royale stuff in there, and then this is the last big mock shelf uh, This is where I this has been kind of displayed just to easy access especially these last three shelves These are all just Rocket Royale characters that I can just grab and pull off and start filming with uh, That's why most of them are out here and not in there 
Um, but specifically first we have the uh, Renzo uh, Hero Shelf. And this is the Renzo Shelf, uh, the Hero Shelf or whatever. You may notice a couple things about them and yeah, there are some pieces missing and stuff like that because uh, you're probably wondering, what the frick is going on with Geo? Another Rocket Royale thing. I mean, I'm happy with this shelf. Freaking Jira and Sawario just shoved in the back. You can't even see them. I definitely need to change this in the future. We have the villain shelf, of course. Uh, you can kind of see a lot of their season two looks. Not a lot of them. Shane Kargus is like exactly the same. Um, but Len and Matilis look kind of different. Um, yeah. I mean, it's the boys. Can't go wrong with the boys. I like the boys. Then we have the first of the Rocket Royale shelves. Just a bunch of freaking losers just shoved back here. Third Rocket Royale shelf. Obviously, you got Stone. Obviously, just kind of shoved in there. Sampley, there's not much thought. Is how they, They're not here for display. They're just here to literally grab them off the shelf. So that's why it's kind of lazily displayed. But And then down here, this is the last one. Uh, Sibnos is there. I don't think there are any other characters you guys would know by name. The Nagley brothers are there. Uh, and then, yeah. No, that's about it for that. Then we have Dink and Dot, my two trusty lamps. These boys are nice. They're very high quality. High quality. Uh, they, they do as... They, I mean, they're cheap lamps, but they get the job done. And I love them so much. I use them every day. So thank you, Dink and Dot, for being the silent heroes of this channel. Without you, God forbid, people would not watch my videos. <laughs> and that's everything. I really, really like this little area. It's not perfect. Again, it is a little small. It's a little constricted. Um, but for, it definitely gets the job done. It's a very nice hangout area. It's enough room to film Biorama. I do feel like it's a little constrictive sometimes, especially since old Biorama had such a big, wide open space. It's not as big. It's not as, uh, as you know, it's not as easy to make multiple scenes with it or whatever. But I don't know. I just, it's still nice and I definitely like it. So boys and girls, thank you for watching this video. I had a blast showing you around my little abode. It ain't perfect, it's nice and homey, it's nice and fun, it's warm, it's cozy, and that's all you need for a room. I figured I'd make a video about it because this is probably going to be the only video you ever get about it until I eventually move one day, and you'll probably get a video from the next place, depending on how long that lasts, you never know. But I figured it would be nice as a way a little history lesson just to be like, hey, this is what it used to look like. Wow, look at that. Uh, so yeah, I greatly appreciate if you watched the whole thing. Uh, stay tuned, more Renzo adventures coming soon, obviously. Working on more videos. I'm aiming for a couple of cool videos in the near future, so we'll see how that goes. Regardless, merci beaucoup. Good night.